So the standard number of A-levels people in the UK do is three, but some people end up doing four or even five. Today, I'm going to be discussing whether doing four A-levels actually gives you a competitive edge and whether I'd even recommend it. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Maria and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of Cambridge. So for context, I actually did four A-levels back when I was at school. So I did biology, chemistry, maths and history. And that's because as a default, my school would offer three, but if you were doing further maths, you could do four. And there was a loophole that if you dropped out of further maths, you could stay on with your fourth A-level. So the main myth I want to dispel today is that having four A-levels means you're more likely to get into university. So I think even top universities really try to not discriminate against students because they'll have three rather than four A-levels. And that's because lots of people do not have the opportunity to do four A-levels. That might be because of the school they go to or because they can't afford to go and do A-levels additionally outside of school. Therefore, it would be fundamentally unfair to discriminate against students for having fewer. The thing is though, unis really do pay attention to some other things about your application and your A-levels, and that comes down to the grades and the subject combination that you have. So what I'd recommend is that if you're confident that you can get really good grades on three A-levels, but that having a fourth A-level would cause you to do much worse, don't do a fourth A-level. They really focus on how you've performed in your three main A-levels, and the fourth one is kind of like a bonus thing. If your scores end up suffering because of that four A-level, it's really, really not worth it. Focus on what the unis really are after. The other thing is subject combinations. So for some of the really competitive courses, they really want you to have good background knowledge and some courses at A-level will prepare you for that better than others. So for example, for medicine at Cambridge, they were very strict that they wanted chemistry. The other requirement is that you had to have at least one other science, but preferably two. So that would include things like biology, maths, physics, and further maths. I think the most eye-opening thing though is the application statistics and seeing how few applicants will get in with only two science A-levels in total. So I think that's a much more important consideration rather than the actual number of A-levels you end up doing. So if doing four A-levels doesn't actually mean you have a competitive edge, what's the point of doing it? Well, for me, I think I just wanted to do history because I found it really interesting and I wanted to find out more about Tudors and the Nazi Germany topics that we were doing. I also really liked the challenge of doing a fourth A-level and having that additional workload. I think you could also argue that having four A-levels could prepare you slightly better for the workload of some more difficult full-on courses that have lots of contact hours. But at the same time, there are so many people out there who had free A-levels and are some of the best medics in my year. So by no means is it a prerequisite. So although you could argue it can be a helpful transition, it's really not that essential. So overall, to sum up this really short and informal video, I think you should do a fourth A-level if you think that you can handle it and it's not going to cause you to do worse overall. Because trust me, in many cases, that won't factor into the entry requirement they give you. So for me, they didn't really care about how I did in history and that wasn't part of my grade requirement. So I'd end up doing it just for your own enjoyment and personal challenge. I really don't think it's that essential for unis and they're very much aware that lots of schools won't offer it. So they won't discriminate against you for choosing three. Having free can make you feel a lot more confident in terms of like workload and having more time to socialize and actually rest. So overall, I'd recommend it only if you actually really want to do it. I think it's a very personal decision whether you end up going for four A-levels rather than three. So I hope that video was useful. If you've got any questions, as usual, just ask me in the comment section below. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I really hope to see you in the next video.